In today's episode of Papal State, I'll show you how to make it a kingdom of gold. Yes, you see it right in Mexico. We even have our capital here. Look, New Gold Rome. You can probably guess why they named the capital that way. Hello, guys. Look us here. Yes, the papacy doesn't start out that big and it's not immediately the kingdom of God. So you guessed right, this is the second episode. The first one should be displayed in the upper right corner or be in the description. Our economy is in full bloom, although it could be better. We have a powerful army and developed ideas. The third one, as I reminded you, I will take and you will see. I saw we had a great opportunity to let Morocco go because it doesn't exist. It's grayed out. And surprisingly, I can do it from a province with Algerian culture. Okay, yes. I know I need one province in Africa, but we'll get that one another time. Well, you can't miss this opportunity. Well, you can't. Wow, we're 99% here and 84% in Venice, but I made it. I introduced colonialism in Luca. This is probably the best province right now for that. We have cloth, which reduces our development costs. We have a trade center. I expanded the port and built the infrastructure. I launched the edicts. Everything is. Okay, almost everything. I also need to improve the fort system in the meantime to protect our coast. And, of course, it would be a kill box for our opponents in the right place. And I must get rid of Tunis as soon as possible. Ah, uh, I have these loans. Because I substituted the Basilica. Yes, I will gladly accept Byzantine refugees. After all, they bring technology with them. Ah, uh, and one more thing. I knew in the previous episode that Venice cannot have face sighting. Venice is the only country that has a completely separate event. And look, we've got it. Murano glass industry. So yeah, now sort of, I have two face eating, one in Siena, the other I have in Venice. That's why sometimes it's worth waiting to conquer Venice. Ah, and so is Venice being the only country not allowed to have face eating at all. So for example, it's fun to take Byzantium as a vassal with it. Anyway, I showed it in my episode from Venice. And here, meet him all the requirements for the introduction of face eating. And then your vassal's face eating is introduced. Alright, all loans 4% repaid. To be honest, I never know how to build forts here. So if you know, please tell me in the comments. It's better to leave Saluzzo and have another one in the province of Como? Or shall we demolish the one in Saluzzo and have two forts in Torino and Niza? I never know which is better. Or maybe get some in Alberg. I see. No! What's left of Portugal? The beginning of the game and we are already finishing two countries. Cool and beautiful. Colonialism will move there quite quickly. I don't want to know how Aragon's army felt. Waiting for this fortress to fall. Attack! And somehow they survived. But fortunately... Hello! Luckily! Fortunately, not for long. And not much Portugal left. I think these two provinces. Oh, and one more. I didn't notice it. And this will be our only province in Africa. Really, this is my only province in Africa. Because even now I checked it, I was still making sure. And one more thing that I didn't do here as part of this campaign. Because I'm not going to ordinary colony. This is a change of our main culture. If we were going to normal colony, I would rather change to one of the Iberian. Oh, that orange color? I think it's orange salmon! No matter which, could be Andalusian, Portuguese, Castilian, whatever. Now I can't do that anymore. We are imperial rank. Oh, come on. Okay, we're over 1500, so we can afford the cavalry and it's already much better than it was when it first started. So it increases my number to four units for my army. The width of the battlefield is 25. So in total, I want 25 units in the first line. Well, we have a total of 20 at the moment. So Lee, let's add five more. And yes, I'm finally going to the cannons too. Well, I should have a whole second line, um, but I don't need that many. Uh, the second line is, I mean, I should have 25 cannons too, but that actually matters more in PvP than against bots. Usually these 25 cannons are enough for all your armies and just send them to one battle. Yes, for PvE, it's completely enough. From Portugal, I keep stealing maps. Not that again. Or are you for the fact that it should be written somewhere here? What is it all called even though you can't see it? All in all, building is very important to us at the moment. Courts! God! Ha 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 ha! Urn! Catholic rebellions in Morocco. Catholic Morocco. It might even be interesting. Disabled forts are much better visible on the map. In the end, that's how I made these forts. I also started eating my next two vassals. And finally, the third idea. And what you've been waiting for. We're going into expansion. You can then also choose exploration ones for the pair. But it probably doesn't make sense. Well, not at this stage of the game. Yes, we are also changing the focus of our country to administration points. And we actually need a better advisor. Ooh, why is he so expensive? No, we cannot accept the tolerance of heretics. Well, the expansion did its job. 40 gold more. Great! Let's buy maps from Castilla. After all, we have prestige. That's it. And it is. Mexico. And it is. Coffee. And basically, it's cocoa. What are these ideas? I like it. And now, our colonization policy. We should probably take it. Native uprising reduced by 50%. 
and increased assimilation. I know that assimilation in the Americas is so average, it works much better in Africa. But we have this government reform, which just lowers our chances of an indigenous rebel. Okay, time for a tougher war, because I want to conquer it all for Morocco. Well, alliances will help. Yes, I'm a moron. I didn't raise a fleet before. I haven't upgraded it yet. I have placed my troops at the border. Well, as you can see here, they die happily because I will see where Osman goes. If he attacks us here, we'll burn him in the forts. If he goes to Tunis, to Morocco, well, he will mainly fight against Spain. And then we'll go to Constantinople. Okay, I didn't foresee the sea landing, but it is good. No, he really does. He sent half his army to these islands. Haha. <laughs> okay, maybe not half but one third for sure. Oh, well, military genius. It's not really. By the way, let's complete this mission. I don't know what this mission is for, but it will let me do more missions on cheaper mercenaries and cheaper commanders. This is good. I'm tempted to reclaim Constantinople for the Catholics. And our fleets clashed. A bit unlucky. They have more heavy ships to start with, but they sink. They do bulbul. They turn into a submarine fleet. Cool. Ottoman fleet slaughter and here is the slaughterhouse of my army. There are too many of them here. Definitely a commander to be kicked out. Shouldn't Austria have a fortress somewhere in the mountains? Oh, for example, in these mountains. Alright, let's go get this Vienna because here unfortunately the Ottoman troops have already arrived. Fortunately they backed off. Oddly enough, we won this battle. So let's go ahead. We have quite a lot of believers willing to defend the church in the end. Hey, and may God's hand defend you. Don't throw a crusade on Osman. We will use it elsewhere. All in all, I could have crusaded on Sus because it will cease to exist after this war. So I do. And as you can see, taking part in the crusade. Morale is up. The number of volunteers is up. All is great. Wow, how quickly this fortress fell. No codes. Look, there's nothing. It fell so fast because I have a three general in the siege. And remember, our siege is 30% faster. Did Osman use a defensive edict? What is AI using them? Uh, I don't believe it, but my Balkan offensive is making good progress. Wow, we captured the Ottoman flagship. And where is mine? He sails all the time with the merchant fleet. No! Okay, this war is going much better than I thought. That's why I'm sending troops to besiege all of Osman. But I will want Byzantium too myself. You won't believe, but Osman has done it again. Instead of defending their territory, he went to defend an ally and I can do whatever I want. Castilian Brazil. Seriously? <laughs> Castilian Brazil. Seriously? Let me tell! Castilian Brazil has even arrived here! We're taking Osman out of the war. I take one rake to release Byzantium. Lots of money, war reparations, and I break their alliance with Tunis because it's time to invade it. Wow! What losses? And C ceases to exist, I guess? Yes, because Zeus disappeared from the crusade window. Remember that there is a gold mine here, and get it if you want. I don't need it. And as you know, I already have one province in Africa. And beautiful, something doesn't foresee that our alliance with Castile will last long. But that's not a problem either. We will ask them to break their alliance with France. Let's get them involved in the Mamluk war. Uh, let's not call separately. Did I mention that I hate the Muslim horse? The cavalry is very strong at the beginning. Get back. It's time to finish the Portuguese case. I don't know. Or it will conquer completely. Portugal. Or make our vassal. Because no, their hate for me is not that big could be bigger. Well, and Portugal has something to reflect from Castile. Oh, ma'am, look, I only take these two provinces because we probably have a very useful monument here. But no, wait, they are heretics. Ooh, idiot. It's useless. But there is a missionary. It's useful nonetheless. And this is Asia. We meanwhile end the war with Tunis as follows. We take as many coastlines as possible. Another ball. Great. And to be honest, this reform seems very strong to me. Accelerates the earning of favor points from all countries by 50%. That's really a lot. But nevertheless, I will go to recruit my rulers. As generals, at a later stage, I will change from reform to absolutism. Now, ending the war with Portugal, I will vassalize Portugal. I have to wait a bit. And so Portugal becomes our very disloyal vassal. But we'll deal with it. We have 15 years for this. Ooh, I thought only certain countries could recreate the kingdom of Jerusalem. Pity. I know this country is liberating here. But Lord like it would be nice to create it. Unfortunately, with the change of era, we will no longer be able to recreate it. Hey, our era of colonialism is still on. 1532 and we have a 90% Catholic reform desire. I am a good pope. I don't really piss off Catholics. I'm finally stealing maps in Mexico. 
And yes, I'm losing the ship because I totally forgot about it. But most importantly, gold still waiting to be won. Aztec, a break my alliance with Castile. We don't like it anymore. I guess excellent. We have our first colony in the new world, and that's very good because now we can attack someone here and establish our foothold. Just bringing troops here is always a massacre. And the time has come, 11th level of technology. And we can finally expand our manufactories. Unfortunately, they are very expensive for the Pope because we don't have any discounts, because we don't have curia effects. Well, fortunately, you can save a little army. Just go to this way. Transporting? Oh yes, along the coast. You jump from one place to another continent and you are sailing along its coast. Well, to your colony, yeah. I mean, coast borders, you know what I mean. I'm not moving an entire army there because we'll be at war with Castile in the meantime anyway. I only carry half my army plus mercenaries and this is how we arrive. And look, I only lost 2,000 and previously it was about 8,000 troops and it's time to start our invasion by establishing outposts. Kokom's best. And then we'll be digging deeper into those territories. Their armies don't stand a chance against us. Yes, we will take the allies out during the five-year peace period. We will not conquer conquer them now. We don't take money, we don't take anything. The shortest possible peace deal. We're eating this whole area and core it right away. Hello, yes, thank you. La Malinche, whoever this person is, and I'll be honest, she would be a nice advisor, but I already have a lot of them. I have these advisors also cheaper, so I'll take a conquistador. Let's get her to the Swiss Guard and let us look for golden cities. In fact, the Swiss Guard even looks like such confistadors. Well, it's time to use our claims to recapture Portuguese territories. Seriously, Guard, seriously, it's a good thing I have so many vassals around. Because I forgot to bring the troops, we can still convert the province. Now, my favorite part of viewing the yellow provinces and seeing if I can build a manufactory here. But maybe no. And if I can, we delete the church, of course. And I was punished for deleting churches. Again, huh. New Castile spoiled my blood a bit here. I'm not going to piss anyone off, am I? Well, I ended the war like this. I regained a lot of provinces for Portugal. We've got to get Lisbon back to England. And I have a lot of provinces from New Castile. Remember, in this region of colonial Mexico, you cannot have more than five core provinces. Otherwise, you form a colony. And if you do that, you won't move the capital here. Hey, Holy Roman Empire is about to rise. Because there is no reformation yet. What is going on here? I won't do that achievement again. Holy Roman Empire, where I'm supposed to be an elector as Pope. Well, unfortunately, not this time again. Because unfortunately, we have to leave HRE. What am I doing too? Fortunately, Austria was not so upset. Well, maybe a little. We're moving our capital to the one African province we have. At least, I hope it's the only one. It costs us a bit. And now, as we have the last province on the continent, it really works like that. The only African province. This is the last province on the continent. And then we can move our capital to a new world. That's why I'm moving the capital here. And now we'll never have colonies. But if you take this capital back to Europe, the colonies will rise. We got Cassius Bella's colonialism on the surrounding nations. And great, I have become weak. Alternatively, these countries do not know of my existence at this point. Well, they don't see our capital. That's why I lost Russia as my rival. And Osman as my rival, weird. And we must remember one more thing. By moving our capital city, we are also moving our trading region. Therefore, we must make Rome again, our trading capital. And now we can also do trade company in Valencia. And I was actually waiting for it. We'll do this. Only in areas which have trading bonuses. So basically everywhere. So we're only going to do two areas. I added all places for trade to trade company, which gives us a merchant. Look, we just created a trading company where we have a lot of control. And look what we have extra increase in this trading company goods production by 78% in every area which is not in a trading company but it could be our state or territory see trade company with plus 26% why not 78% complicated oh because I can see that it's still scaling now it's 49% and there is 49% for production <laughs> this is very big our money is growing and now may I ask look as should we do something like this in Genoa but most definitely, but here it has to be done carefully because here we have to unpin the whole area. From state, unfortunately, it doesn't always pay off. And I'll tell you honestly, if I didn't have the whole area of Tuscany so developed, this one area would probably be enough for us for a trading company throughout this region. Well, it may not work for us. And basically, my trading companies in Genoa look like this. If you have any comments or suggestions, feel free to write to me. I'm building buildings now. For production, of course, to increase the power of trade. Oh, because here they are all trade companies. Of course, only in reality, not all of them are trade companies. Because that's all I've done is territory. Yes, trade company, there are only these three provinces. Well, four. And in this region, we have 31% to goods production modifier for now. That's the 31%. And all in all, for Venice, I made trade company only Venice, nothing more. And after all these changes, I earned 35 gold more, even though Tunis has pirated my coast in the meantime. 
Yes, I forgot about Tunis again. Ooh, this is the best. And I didn't know that this bonus also works on our vassals. But okay, we weren't supposed to deal with Europe. You know, we were supposed to be dealing with America and our kingdom of gold. And here I will tell you frankly that I will conquer this way. First, the country will get a crusade from me, which gives us cause for a religious war, literally. We get the same reason for war. As if we had developed a religious idea to the end. Make sure that country is not higher than 100% war score. Because you just want to conquer it in one war. And when you win the war, the country disappears. Because you're taking all his territories. And then you call for another crusade. But already at the start, Venice and Rome? And besides, you won't believe it. No reformation yet, okay. Look as you broke something in this game again. But this country is hidden. I didn't even know that I was going to fight this country. This is exactly my color. We are eating all the nations from this war. If they are smaller and we can eat it all at once in war, then why not? Here we do not care about aggressive expansion at all. Damn, they're savages. Ooh. I've gone too far with these conquests. Crusade against the Aztec. Yes, that's the creme de la creme, which we want to conquer. Where are all the gold mines? In this area? Wow, although there are quite a few of them here too. Although I'll start with an attack on the Spanish colony first. You may be wondering, why am I only at war with this? And that's because I have a capital in the new world, and I can declare war directly on the colonial nations, without summoning Castile. Yes, now you see correctly. I have a war with Castile. And I have a war with the colonial nation. Only for some reason, all my vassals came out of this war. But I can still roll it. Wow, we already have a nice name, don't we? Oh, no, more imposters. Another holy war, this time over Mexico. At last, year 1560 and the Protestant Reformation. What happened here? Okay, what happened here? What about England? Tunis, we've totally cut it off from the sea so they won't pirate me at last. Ha, I drove them into this desert. Why did AI develop Asturias like that? What happened here? Even my Rome is less developed. What the fuck? I like this inscription very much. Papal Italy? Ooh, I totally forgot about this mighty monument. I want him. The Protestant Bible translated. That's heresy. Time for another crusade. It's going to be big. And the worst thing about this war was that I had to eat all the main target's vassals. Ahead of my main goal. Otherwise, I'd get these vassal. And I don't want it. Huh, it would just ruin name of my country for me. Which is still broken. And now it is proper to wait for these tribes to settle down for us. They will form a federation. And all the rest of these countries will have to be conquered here. Unless you want to colonize it yourself. Mexico must be our core. And in the first place, I want to convert these provinces as soon as possible. And at the same time, Aztec culture should rather be our acceptable culture, because that will allow us to use this monument. I was so focused on this new world that I didn't see what happened here. Poland has practically ceased to exist and is under the Hungarian shoe. Russia has grown up. Europe looks weird, very strange. But our kingdom of gold already looks really good. And of course the gold in Mexico was converted, that is the believers in Mexico have been converted. Well, now the other gold provinces have to follow this path as well. But I will never understand it. For 5,000, I'm supposed to get minus 5% to development. I do not get it. Now, let's bring all gold mines to level 10. Not that I need it anyway, but you know, our kingdom looks really good already. And if you like my guides, I invite you to watch the guide from France, where I show what and how to do to create a Muslim France.